We're on the road to WrestleMania. Well, we're stuck in traffic. So right now we're going to do a WrestleMania themed uh, topic and uh, right up until the road to WrestleMania. We're going to start today with future WrestleMania main event matches on Tag Team Talk. Uh, my first one, ever since TLC match with The Shield versus Ryback and Team Hell No, I couldn't help but say to myself, Rollins versus Ambrose in about five, six years, WWE Championship, something of uh, Shawn Michaels versus Stone Cold or a Rock versus Stone Cold kind of situation. I think a couple of years is a good timeline to put that, especially with the push they're getting right now. Hopefully I'll give them some time to develop their own separate personalities so that you do have a baby face and a heel or... Well, they're not gonna they're not gonna spawn any title off of uh, off of the shield. That's that's gonna be time. And if they're gonna keep on developing people like Sandow and Cesaro, they're not just gonna throw Ambrose and Rollins when these guys are obviously serving their weekly time and weekly matches. You mentioned Cesaro. Do you see him as being a potential world heavyweight champion or WWE champion? Um, I see him more of a world heavyweight champion as long as they keep the brand separate. I think that he has the chance to be a WWE champion with a couple character changes, maybe a face turn. Uh, but you'll see him more of a SmackDown kind of guy. Speaking of SmackDown, do you see Damian Sandow as a world champion or WWE champion? I see Sandow being a WWE champion before a world champion. I think uh, the lineage just makes sense. And uh, the world heavyweight champions for more of brawlers. Do you see Kofi Kingston as a WWE champion or a world champion? <laughs> Uh, since the WWE is borderline racist, I will never see him as a WWE champion. <laughs> That's so cold. You say that all the time. But because I name a WWE champion that was black. The Rock. Name a WWE champion that wasn't Samoan without a limit lineage that was black. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. I don't know, man. No, nobody. You're right. I understand. And, and that's the truth. I'll tag myself for that one. But real quick, real quick, that's the truth. Ahmed Johnson had the chance, fell short. Farouk, the most legitimate African-American star. First in professional wrestling, actually was an African-American champion. And they, WWE had WCW. all the chances. WWE had all the chances and didn't give it to him. Mark Henry, they could have made him a world heavy uh, WWE they, champion. But, not WWE but what did champion. they give him? They gave him the WCW title that Farouk already won before. All right, let's get back to the topic on but, hand. Let's talk about. Uh, I'm going to go champions. through a list. Future champions. Do you see Kid being a WWE or world champion? Nope, mid card champion though. What about Zack Ryder? Uh, <laughs> I see Zack Ryder in TNA. I see Zack Ryder as a WWE champion one day. No. Nah. Uh, Rollins, WWE champion, world heavyweight champion, or is I think Ambrose has one of the uh, the, the qualities that he's going to need to be one of those bad guys. I see Rollins somewhat following in the footsteps of like maybe like a Jeff Hardy in that yeah. respect, okay. to being a wild CM Punk kind high of? flyer, kind of maybe a little bit more. I still like to know more about him. Seth Rollins has a great move set. Uh, what about Wade Barrett? Is he a world heavyweight WWE? Wade Barrett, hands down, future WWE champion. I'm sure they'll put the world strap on him, whatever. He's going to be around for a while. His career is just skyrocketing. Don't let this short little intercontinental run fool you. This guy is the real deal. It doesn't fool me. I just think it's a step back. He could have been in the chamber for the world heavyweight championship without the intercontinental title. Let's talk about a future WrestleMania main event match in Cody Rhodes versus Wade Barrett. Uh I, lo I love the idea. I think it sets up for Cody Rhodes' ultimate face turn and uh, for a chance for him to actually be the star that he is. What do you think? I think that you're absolutely right. Cody Rhodes is definitely already, like, you know, second generation. He's been in the company for almost eight, nine years now. He uh, he knows what he's doing. He just needs to get away from this current storyline. But in the future, seeing uh, uh, after all these old guys fall along the wayside and the, uh, the era's uh, a new era begun, Cody Rhodes and Barrett, Definitely a future WrestleMania main event match. Now let's move on to a little bit more of the mid-carters. We have uh, Alberto Del Rio, Heath Slater, McIntyre, Jinder Mahal. Del Rio is not a mid-carter anymore because he won the world title from the big show. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens about that. But Slater and McIntyre, do they have a chance? Ziggler, money in the bank, ADR pinned. <laughs> There's your future WrestleMania, well, not a main event, but a match. <laughs> Opening. Uh, but Slater and McIntyre, for real, do they do do they have a chance to actually be full time legitimate champions? Slater man, maybe I don't know. McIntyre, McIntyre is getting a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, look, there's three guys. We know Jinder Mahal is not going to rock the mic. I think Drew McIntyre is really making himself present. 
<clears throat> he's throwing even little extra things when he's getting his ass kicked or when he's leaving the ring. I think he's got potential. Time will tell on both of them. But as far as future main event matches, I don't know. Maybe if, yeah. I think McIntyre has the best chance, but also the slimmest chance. of Being the chosen one five or six years ago, having an Intercontinental title, that might have been his ceiling. I'm not a fan of Slater. I'm saying he has a potential to do it as long as he keeps his nose clean. He already violated, violated a wellness policy. <laughs> Slater, great <laughs> in-ring technician, uh, lame character, always will have a lame character. What about Jinder Mahal? Uh, yeah, I think Jinder Mahal has a chance to like repeat the Iron Sheik ways, maybe do some anti-American, anti-North American, and get some Canadians involved some way or another. But uh, is he as good as a wrestler as Iron Sheik and to maybe have a full-time career like that? No, he's probably going to end up being the Indian show of WWE like Kali is. Damn right, he's taking over. Brodus Clay. Uh, I, this gimmick... Go ahead. Uh, this gimmick might kill him, man. I don't know, man. Punk said it the other night. You're having this monster dance with these grubby little kids. And uh, what what's going on with his character? And <laughs> Stain your fingers on these little kids. <laughs> I mean, what, what's going on? promo is fucking sweet. Can he survive this character overhaul? Because he came in as a monster... Left as a monster, as, as, as an injured monster. It's up to the individual, and even you see somebody back in the day like The Rock overcomes Rocky sucks. Brodus will overcome this. I'm sure he will eventually become a 400-pound wrecking beast when he puts the dancing aside. Uh, hopefully he can pull it off. I'm just going to shoot honorable mentions to NXT guys. Richie Steamboat on his way up to the big leagues. Tyler Black and Cassius Ono, all three people that I believe will be future main eventers at WrestleMania and potential future full-time champions of the nature of CM Punk and John Cena, all with limitless potential, especially Steamboat with his uh, pedigree and with his father, who is amazing. Um, but that's my honorable mention.